I accuse you of stealing this cake. Objection! Baseless conjecture has no place in a court of law. Hold it! I have a witness testimony here that proves you are at the scene of the crime. Take that! Objection! One witness's testimony and no evidence. Don't make me laugh. Joe, you just came in through that door not five minutes ago, licking your lips and saying, and I quote, that cake was delicious. And then you laugh. Come on. Let's play the game. Uh, I thought it was me. Objection! Phoenix Wright is back. Now, the Ace Attorney series might belong to him, but he hasn't starred in a game since 2007, which makes you return to the courtroom here with the classic music playing in the background at such a fist pumping yes moment. Make no mistake, if you're a fan of Ace Attorney games, this new one will give you a big cheeser in your face, and maybe a big cheeser elsewhere too. It's not all for the old fans though. Capcom has touted this as a good starting point for newcomers, with a brand new storyline and a new character too. Athena Sykes is this season's replacement for Maya, acting as assistant throughout most of the game, although she does get a chance to bang on the desk and shout objection as well. So, what do you actually do in an Ace Attorney game? At its heart is an adventure game and a murder mystery all wrapped up into one. As Phoenix Wright, Apollo Justice or Athena, you wander about, talk to people, find the evidence and try and solve mysteries, and then you go to court and try and work out inconsistencies in witness testimony. It's all about paying attention to the story and presenting the evidence that proves somebody's lying, which is made much more satisfying because of the big red letters, the big objection and of course, the wonderful music. A new addition this time lets you delve into witnesses' emotions during courtroom battles, pinpointing inconsistent emotions and drawing out the truth. It's a fun little break to the usual mechanics and it gives you a chance to get to know the characters better. One of the strengths of the series, the reason that it's got such die-hard fans, is because it's easy to get wrapped up in the plot. You want to see what happens next, what ludicrous twist to the tale waits in the next text box. Shu Takami, the series creator, isn't involved this time, but the team behind it did a great job of carrying on his key traits of writing ridiculous scenarios full of ridiculous characters who somehow, through the strength of great dialogue, find their way into your heart. There's a new lovable detective who almost fills the gumshoe shaped hole, and the latest prosecutor to stand off against is an actual convicted murderer, which is just about as stupid as it could possibly get. It's a comedy and a tragedy simultaneously, so you might be baffled by the ancient evil spirits, the student giving testimony in a cardboard box, and the mysterious masked wrestler, but before long you'll roll with it and grow a great attachment to everyone you meet. Compared to older games in the series, it's a very tasteful update, although some fans might be disappointed. Meeting old favourites like Trucy and other cameos, finally seeing Phoenix Wright as a fully fledged respected lawyer, and lots of wee references in the dialogue all amount to great fan service. Fan favourite Clavier Gavin, prosecutor by day and rockstar by night, is also back. But there are some things that could let the game down for you if you're a fan. For one thing, while the 3D graphics are beautiful, the character animation being particularly expressive, nothing really compares to the wonderful sprite work of the older games. Also, the reworked versions of classic tunes are great, but the original music for this game isn't quite as memorable. More troubling for long time fans might be the amount of streamlining in the game. You can no longer examine every location, with investigations relegated to only the crime scenes. Also, all the 3D item manoeuvring is gone. Those aren't massive faults, the only real loss is some funny conversation, but it's obviously an attempt to avoid folk wandering about, examining everything and getting themselves lost. I'm fine with it, but others might not be. Another optional addition is the logbook, which is pretty much a walkthrough. If you get stuck, this little thing will tell you exactly where to go, who to talk to, even what to examine next. It feels a bit like cheating, but you never have to use it. It's just there so that newcomers, folk who aren't already immersed in Ace Attorney logic, don't have to look up game FAQs every 10 minutes. But whether you're a newcomer or a fan, if you like plot heavy adventure games then you'll probably enjoy Ace Attorney 5. It's hilarious, it's touching, it's frustrating in that way that makes you tear your hair out before that ah moment that makes it all just brilliant and incredible. Time to bring it to an end. Here's how good it is. Instead of talking to people during the day when I'm out and about, I now just walk around playing my 3DS instead of looking where I'm going. I could get hit by a car. I could end up in hospital just because I don't want to stop playing this game. And if I do, I know who I'll be hiring as my lawyer.